All right, now time for the games people play. And we're stealing money. Come on, we're talking about sports, games. Yeah. And today, by the way, is National Ice Cream Pie Day, so we're knocking down some ice cream. A little pie effect. Stick around. We're going to have a great ice cream pie recipe for you via our Facebook page coming up. But let's bring in Brian McFadden. Uh, we can watch him on Morning Express with we Robin Mean. How are, are you? So, I'm good, man. We are so festive. I, I know. Like and we're going to be putting on weight at this rate. But anyway. Let's talk about the young lady who's taken the sports world by storm. 13-year-old mm. Monet Davis, Little League World Series, even hitting the ball, huh? Not only can she hit, but check this out. She hits a blooper right here to get her team going. An RBI single for her. Nice little blooper. She's the sixth girl in the history of the Little League World Series to get a hit. And also, uh, that girl can throw some heat, too. 71-mile-an-hour fastball. 71-mile-an-hour fastball. She can bring it. I okay. can, so I can they win. Like Next mile. up, though, she's back on the mound Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I'm, I guarantee you there's going to be big ratings. ESPN's got that 730 first pitch. They're playing Las Vegas. They're good. Tough team. Yeah. Very tough team. So good challenge for her. All right, we'll keep an eye on mm -hmm. Monet Davis. Speaking of ESPN, they're going to get big ratings uh, tonight at 7, 8 o'clock it is. Redskins, RG3 versus the Browns, Johnny Mansell, Johnny Football. We're back at it. But the thing we? is, Johnny Football, it's going to be, everyone wants to see Johnny Football play, but he's sitting the bench. He's starting on the bench. There he is. But, but uh, he's going to get a lot of playing time. He's going he's to gonna alternate with Brian Hoyer. They're going to they're gonna alternate. They want to get the like equal amount of snaps, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so there, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Who's got the inside track here? As we see, all the fans want Mansell. He's exciting. He's Johnny Football. Well, the locker room says it's 50-50. They can go either way. Is there a locker room? To, I mean, there, is there, like... is, there, isn't contra there isn't controversy in the locker room, but they're saying, you know what? If, if Hoyer's the man, we support him. If Manziel's the man, we support him. Okay. I think they like this kid. He's got a great work ethic. Yeah, and watching him, he, the arm looks good. Mm -hmm. He can run. Yep. Can he stay healthy? I think that's the key if he runs a little too much with in, the, his, in with, the big leagues here. With his style of play, that's, that's going to wow. be a tough one right now. Oh, and the top 25. Oh, it's tough college I wanted football. to talk to you about that. Yeah, yeah, the top 25. A little over a week away from some big-time games, but who's number one? The AP top 25, of course, Florida State's number one. Back again. You got the you know the the, the current Heisman Trophy winner, Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston, Mr. Mr. Crab Legs. Let's oh, oh here we go. Florida State, Alabama, Oregon, Oklahoma, Ohio State. But I'm thinking about this, and you mentioned this before we started knocking down our our pie here. It doesn't matter as mm. much. You're going to have a 14 playoff at the end. It's Hallelujah a, to that. It's a 14. It's a 14 playoff. It's got it's got 13 members, and one of them happens to be a former uh, former national champion head coach Nebraska from Nebraska, Tom Osborne, Ooh. and Condoleezza Rice is on the committee. Can you believe that? Okay. Secretary That's of State. Good. Yeah, it's I good. mean, I still think they need to get to eight someday. Eight teams would be the way to go. But I'll take four, and, I, and I'll take settling it on the field. College Talk football to is going to be so much fun to watch this year because of the playoff. There you man. go. All right. Again, go to our Facebook page, our HLN Now Facebook page. Great recipe for ice cream pie as we indulge.